वी आर अमेरिका बेस्ट जी यू लुकिंग फॉर इकोनॉमिकल फेयर ना बस आप लोगों को गोवा वाय मास्क हो जाना पाएगा यू नो बेस्ट फेयर फॉर बेस्ट हॉलीडे इतने बुक करा चीपेस्ट इन अमेरिका माई वाइफ ला जो या फिर आज रात की फ्लाइट आप पकड़ लो और पापी जी और बेटे को नेक्स्ट मंथ की फ्लाइट पकड़ा देंगे इतने फिर बुक करा और कोई प्रॉब्लम हो तो यू कैन कॉल मी एनी टाइम डे एंड नाइट बट आफ्टर इलेवन एम एंड बिफोर फोर पी एम ते बुक करा प्लीज अरे मेक माई ट्रिप डॉट कॉम को कॉल करो लाजो हेलो मेक माई ट्रिप डॉट कॉम प्लानिंग ट्रिप टू इंडिया कॉल वन एट हंड्रेड इंडिया टेन और लॉग ऑन टू मेक माई ट्रिप डॉट कॉम योर इंडिया ट्रेवल स्पेशलिस्ट आई लव हेलो मेक माई ट्रिप डॉट कॉम ते बुक करा We're here with Jake Mundra, the director, and um, you directed the provoked movie that we're uh, going to see tonight. Yes. So I just wanted to ask you, actually, how did you uh, come across the? How did you discover the material for this movie, and what made you? What gave you the inspiration to want to direct a movie about it? Uh, it's uh, actually the material discovered me. It was interesting. Uh, what happened is I had gone to London for a film festival like this, where my film Sandstorm, uh, Bavander, mm -hmm. was being shown, and at the end of the screening. Uh, a group of ladies who belong to a, a social organization called South Hall Black Sisters they approached me and they gave me this book called Circle of Light and they said we saw this film and um we would like you to read this and see whether you would like to consider making it into a film and th that was written by uh, K uh, Karen Jade Alawali as well the uh, the that's what the story is about actually yeah. uh -huh. so i read the book on the flight back to los angeles and uh, was very moved by it and uh, especially one line that uh, when she was being taken to prison uh, for life uh, she was asked how she feels and she said i feel free and uh, since then it started but i called her, uh, called them after coming to los angeles and they said sorry the book has been optioned by somebody else so i dropped the idea and then 3 4 years later when i was back in london for some other work i just called them as a matter of courtesy to find how is it going is the film made and they said no that they couldn't make the film the, the option ran out mm -hmm. and the material was again available if i was interested and that's yeah. how it and i i took it over mm -hmm. and uh, i got a script done on that book and uh, a ch chance meeting with ashwara rai in uh, london when she was shooting uh, for mistress of spices oh so that's how you came across so you did you know that ashwari rai was going to you wanted to cast ashwari rai for this project or you, is it cuz you met her uh, yeah no actually i i had you know i mean i know ashwari uh, because we are in the same film fraternity but right. not any as a personally uh -huh. but so happened that she was in london for mistress of spices and uh, uh, my producers for whom i was doing another film in english uh, they knew her they had done a film called jeans with her many years ago oh okay so they went to socially visit her uh -huh. and she asked them uh, you know what are you doing and it says we are making films with this guy called Jack Mon Jack Mundra yeah. so she said oh i d i loved his bavander i saw it when i i uh, was in the hospital one and i was flipping channels on tv i saw it i really liked it so does he have anything in interesting about a strong woman centric film mm -hmm. so they called me right away <laughs> they said oh ashwarya do you have a subject i mean uh, they mentioned to her about this you know uh -huh. so she said call him and then i went there and i narrated to her the story mm -hmm. and she instantly said yes definitely interested and she said uh, can you be this was like <coughs> 8th of march mm -hmm. and 6th of may she was shooting with me in london in such a short time wow. we had a very quick take off once she said yes everything fell into place and the producers were able to get the funding and all that and the film was made that is amazing so i know that the true story was actually taking place in england as well so did you shoot the movie in england yes yeah, the entire movie shot in england So how did you come across casting actors like Naveen Andrews and the rest of the cast? Uh well you know I mean I had seen Naveen in many films uh, um uh, including Bride and Prejudice and uh, and uh, I thought he would make a very you know his eyes had that thing which uh, you know I I'm very focused on eyes even with Ashwarya when everyone said how did you think of taking her and uh, I said look her her eyes beautiful are blue eyes, right? and, and <laughs> not just beautiful they're very expressive right. mm -hmm. and uh, this character didn't have that many dialogues mm -hmm. you know all her pain her joy her triumph her fear her uh, love affection everything we had to show in the eyes mm -hmm. and uh, so i said well you know she has the best you know most expressive eyes well we all know ashwari rai is the queen of expression right uh, well she is wonderful in this film uh, i you know a lot of people say that she's pretty face and she is uh, you know carries clothes very well she dances very well but i think this film uh, completely strips away 
all the other things uh, such as designer clothing, such as makeup, such as all wavy hair, all that. Nothing. She is just plain raw Ashwarya Rai, and uh, it's completely plays on her talent, on her acting ability, as opposed to her looks. Wow. So, what challenges were you faced when shooting this movie? Uh, too little time. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, only 32 days. I had 36 days. The whole film is mm -hmm. shot in 36 days, and I had uh, put together the subject matter. Uh, quite um, uh, suddenly, got a lot of agents very interested in it, and we got a stellar cast: Naveen Andrews and Miranda Richardson, mm -hmm. Robbie Coltrane, Rebecca Pigeon. Um, a wonderful cast was put together. So, and but each one had only a small window in which I could do their part. So like Naveen Andrews was only available for one week wow. because he had okay. uh, lost, he had to right. come back. Miranda Richardson had broken her foot. She was on another film and because of that broken foot, she had two weeks when she was off from the other film. And I had to finish. Uh, she said, I don't have to run in the film. I said, no, you are in a jail. So, uh, <laughs> That's funny. So, uh, <laughs> so perfect so, for her. Right? Perfect, yeah. Right. So she was then, and Robbie Coltrane uh, came in for two days mm -hmm. from Scotland. He was in Harry Potter. He was doing Harry Potter at that time. So it's just like, in, and, and Nandita was on the jury of uh, Cannes Film Festival at that time. So her death, and this is like in May when, jury, when the festival is on. So uh, to, in trying to coordinate between everyone's dates and the having a window of only 36 days to shoot it and be able to capture everything which I needed for the film, that was a daunting task. That was really the tough part, but it wow. was a challenge. I mean, it's not a problem, it is always a challenge. Because you made it happen and everything happens for a reason, right? Yes. Well, thank you so much for talking with us. I'm really excited to see you provoke. Empower the Desi in you.